The Akatsuki from Naruto is a group of powerful shinobi, but they were all killed. From Sasori to Zetsu, here is the order in which they died. Sasori was a very skilled and feared shinobi from the Hidden Sand Village, and thanks to his mastery of the puppet technique he was able to kill the third Kazakage the strongest shinobi in the Sand's history. He may have been a terrifying opponent, but Sasori was still the first of the Akatsuki to fall in battle, and this happened at the hands of Sakura and his grandmother Chiyo who taught him everything he knew. The battle was fierce and involved a lot of puppetry and poison, but Chiyo got the final blow when she stabbed him through the heart with two puppets he had created as a child to resemble his dead parents. The hidden village in hot water's only major contribution to the Naruto series is Hayden the psychotic religious fanatic who entered a state of euphoria when he killed someone. The Jashin faith is also the reason why he is essentially an immortal living voodoo doll. After Hayden kills Asuma, Shikamaru, Ino, and Choji set off to avenge their former sensei with the help of Kakashi, and the ensuing battle is a sight to behold because Hayden is an exceptional fighter when using his three-bladed scythe. Shikamaru ends up defeating him by trapping him with paper bombs that blow him apart this does not kill him however, but he was immediately buried alive in a pit. Kakuzu was Hayden's partner and the second oldest member of the Akatsuki, and when the former waterfall shinobi left his village he stole a scroll that allowed him to steal the hearts of other ninjas which allowed him to extend his own life while using all five elements. During the fight with Shikamaru's team and Kakashi, Kakuzu possessed five hearts, and in order to put him down for good each heart needed to be destroyed. Kakashi destroyed the first heart with his lightning blade, the second was destroyed by Hayden by accident, and Naruto destroyed the remaining hearts with one raisin shuriken, but it was Kakashi who delivered the killing blow just to be safe. Itachi Uchiha agreed to slaughter his entire clan in order to prevent a violent coup in the Leaf Village, but he spared his younger brother Sasuke. He then agreed to join the Akatsuki in order to gather information on the group for the Leaf Village. As a prodigy of the Sharingan, Itachi was a skilled and dangerous shinobi, and thanks to the Mangekyo Sharingan he could use abilities like Tsukuyami, Amaterasu, and Susanoo, which came equipped with a legendary sealing sword and a shield that could block any attack. Itachi died while battling Sasuke, but the fight is not what ultimately killed him. Itachi had been dealing with an incurable illness for years, and he only fought Sasuke because he knew his death was coming. Daidara was a member of the Stone Village's Explosion Corps, a position he earned thanks to his ability to create explosions with his chakra. He also used band techniques to give himself mouths on his palms and chest which he used to mold explosive clay. When Daidara learned that Itachi died before he could kill him himself, he decided to go after Sasuke instead, and when it became clear to him that Sasuke did not think much of his artistic style, he decided to use the mouth in his chest to become a living bomb. Daidara killed himself to beat Sasuke, but the young Uchiha shielded himself by summoning a giant snake to hide behind. Nagato was one of the Akatsuki's founding members, and he served as the group's leader for most of the Series A title that he held thanks to the Rinnegan, even though those eyes originally belonged to Madara Uchiha. After the death of his dear friend Yahiko, Nagato overthrew the leader of the Rain Village and used the bodies of Yahiko and five other shinobi to split his godlike powers. As pain, Nagato killed Jiraiya and later went on to destroy the Leaf Village, but Naruto appeared and defeated all six bodies before tracking down Nagato's real body. Nagato was essentially confined to a modified wheelchair at this point, and after figuring out that Naruto was the world's best shot at true peace, he sacrificed himself to resurrect everyone he had killed in the village. Conan trained alongside Nagato and Yahiko, and aside from being a founding member, she was also the only female Akatsuki member. Conan implemented her love of origami into her fighting by developing a fighting style that involved her turning her body into paper, and this included using paper shuriken. Following Nagato's death, Conan decided to leave his dream of peace in Naruto's hands, so she left the Akatsuki and returned to the Rain Village where she became the interim leader. Tobi who now called himself Madara, went to face Conan to learn where she hid Nagato's body. Conan nearly killed Tobi, but he grabbed her by the throat and killed her while she was placed under a genjutsu. 
After killing his superior, Kisame became a member of the seven ninja swordsmen of the mist, and shortly after that he met Abito slash Tobi who convinced him to leave the village and join the Akatsuki where he was eventually partnered with Itachi. Kisame possessed Samahata, a massive scaled sword that eats chakra, and he was able to fuse with it to become a real shark man. It was believed that B and the Rakage had killed Kisame via decapitation, but that proved to be a Zetsu clone. His true death happened a bit later when Naruto was taming the Ninetales. When Naruto sensed him, he emerged from Samahata, now owned by B, and fought Might Guy, and after getting beaten and trapped in a jutsu he summoned three sharks to eat him alive to ensure that his Akatsuki secrets died with him. Tobi was a secret founder of the group, but he didn't officially join the Akatsuki until Sasori's death, and for the most part he seemed like a nitwit who couldn't be harmed by traditional means. It turns out that Tobi was actually Abito Uchiha Kakashi's former squad member, and he helped to form and control the Akatsuki in order to fulfill Madara Uchiha's goal of plunging the earth into a permanent dream world. He did this so he could live in a world where Rin the girl that he loved was still alive, and he went as far as becoming the vessel of the Ten Tails. After seeing the error of his ways, he helps Naruto and Sasuke to stop Madara and Kagaya, and he dies while saving Kakashi from one of Kagaya's all-killing ash bones which causes his body to disintegrate. This one is interesting because Zetsu was technically two beings inhabiting the same body, and White Zetsu was killed during the Fourth Great Ninja War when Sasuke used him as target practice while testing out his new eyes. He was killed by an Amaterasu-infused Susanoo arrow that incinerated him. Black Zetsu was actually a physical manifestation of Kagaya's will making him hundreds of years old. During the war he fought the Mizukage and Naruto and managed to survive, and he even managed to overpower a god-tier Madara to resurrect Kagaya. His fate was sealed alongside hers though, as Naruto threw him into the same Jutsu that was used to seal her.